Hello, and welcome to Colin's Time to Bake, Baking with the Bake Off. This week we have to make Princess Tata. I don't know if I said that right, but it's also known as Princess Cake. It's a multi-layered sponge cream custard jam and marzipan cake that has to be made into a dough. It's really difficult. Now we have to get our ingredients. Get ready. One, two, three. Oh Lord, that's a lot of stuff. For the vanilla custard, you need to add 600 milliliters of milk along with your vanilla pod and seeds and you put it onto a low heat until it's just simmering. In a separate bowl, add 100 grams of caster sugar to 4 egg yolks. 50 grams of corn flour. And beat until pale and creamy. A little bit like this. Take the vanilla pod out of the pan. Add the milk vanilla mix very slowly to your egg mix. So stir that, make sure it's all in together, and then you add it back into the pan. Put back on a low heat for four to five minutes and you've got to whisk it until it turns thick. Take it off the heat and then add 50 grams of butter and mix until it's fully incorporated. Transfer it into a bowl and cover it with cling film to prevent a skin forming and then you leave it to cool. It's time to make the jam. For the jam you need 200 grams of raspberries, 175 grams of jam sugar and two tablespoonfuls of water. Stir over a low heat until the sugar has melted and then bring to the boil and boil excessively for four minutes. Once your jam's ready, let it cool. Time to make the sponge. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees or 160 if you have a fan oven. You need four eggs and 150 grams of castor sugar. Beat well. It may take a while, but you want it to be this kind of thickness. I know you can't really tell, to be honest. Next, add 75 grams of corn flour. 75 grams of plain flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. Fold the mix in and then add 50 grams of melted butter. You need to make sure you don't over mix it because then you'll knock out all the air you've just put in. Put the mix into a 23 centimeter lined spring tin like this. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Now it's time to make the rolls for the top of the cake. I will be using Miss She Who Bakes tutorial which can be found at shewhobakes.co.uk search for Rainbow Rose Tutorial. Time to make magic! Ah, that'll do. Once the cake's out of the oven, leave it to cool. Once it's cooled, cut the cake into three pieces horizontally. Hasn't quite gone as planned, the middle layer is a little bit um, thin, so yeah, I'd lose points for that definitely. It's time to assemble. Base on. I've added a thin layer of custard to this. I've not bothered about the edges because the next part is piping. Take some of your cooled vanilla custard and put it into a piping bag and then pipe around the edge to create a dam to hold in the jam. I will not win points for neatness. Jam's in! Now, oh my god there's so much to do. Now you have to whip the double cream, there's 600 milliliters of double cream into stiff peaks. A little bit like this. Then you add half the whipped cream into the custard mix. This makes a custard cream which is the next layer. Mm -hmm. You now spread one third of your custard cream over the jam. Next goes the second layer, which of mine is a little bit thin, but it's there nonetheless. And then you add the remaining custard cream, like so. Third sponge goes on next, and then the remaining whipped cream. Put on the whipped cream so it looks a little bit like a dome. Um, yeah, this, this, yeah. Place into the fridge for an hour. I'm now about to make my marzipan from scratch. For homemade marzipan you need 400 grams of ground almonds, add in 150 grams of castor sugar, add in 250 grams of icing sugar and mix with dough hooks on your whisk. Add 1 teaspoon of almond extract, 2 medium already beaten up eggs. Mix again until it looks like this and then you want to knead it into a dough. Put the dough onto a icing sugar dusted surface and then add your green food colouring. Just keep kneading, keep kneading. Until you get a lovely consistent green. Whew, I'm exhausted. Everything in my kitchen is covered in icing sugar. Anyway, so you now have to roll out your homemade marzipan to a 40 centimetre circle. Fingers crossed that's big enough. And then lift it on to the cake. Oh god. Oh god, I've made a hole. Oh no. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Trim off the excess and then add the decoration. 
Using 250 milliliters of double cream, make some more whipped cream, put it into a piping bag, and we're now going to add the decoration to the outside. A little bit like this. Nice and pretty. Using 50 grams of dark chocolate, melt it and then put it into a piping bag because you're now going to draw some decorations on the top. And finally add your rose. Even though it pains me to do this because I think it looks quite pretty, I have to cut this open and see what's inside. Well, there's definitely jam. Not bad. A little bit flat, but you know. It looks like it's bleeding. So now it's time for the taste test. Ah, oh, the layers. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. I made a princess cake. It actually turned out okay. I was quite surprised that it managed to hold a dome shape. Um, the homemade marzipan was a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But apart from that, you know, we managed. So join me next week where no one's really sure what the technical bake is. And that'll be interesting. Until then, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and click the big red subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Colin. This is Colin's Time to Bake, baking with the Bake Off.